Chapter 1 The Three Christians In the reign of King John, there lived an abbot of Canterbury. He lived in a grand style in his abbey. A hundred of abbot's men dined with him each day and fifty knights in velvet coats and gold chains waited upon him daily. King John did not like the idea of anyone in his kingdom living a lavish life. He summoned the abbot to his presence. The abbot came with his retinue of knights to meet the king. The king wanted to know how the abbot could live in such a grand manner. The abbot told the king that he was spending freely the money that the abbot got out of the pity of the people. The king said to him, Abbot, in this realm of England, you have no right to put me to shame by living in such a luxurious manner. Anyway, I'll spare you your life and property if you can answer three questions. I'll do so, my lord, said the abbot. Well then, said the king, tell me where is the center of the round earth. Then let me know how long I will live and lastly tell me what I think. Your majesty, you must be joking, said the abbot. No, I am not. If you don't answer these three questions by the end of the week, your head will be separated from your body, the king replied. The abbot roared off in fear. He went to all the wise men of the land and find the answers to the king's questions, but no one could help him. He was sad and sorrowful. On his way back, he met a shepherd who asked him about the king. Sad news, sad news, said the abbot and told the shepherd everything that had happened. Cheer up, sir abbot, said the shepherd. A fool may perhaps answer, what a wise man does not know. I will go to London to meet the king. Just give me your clothes and a retinue of knights. I can at least die in your place. No, shepherd, said the abbot. You cannot take on my burden. I can, sir abbot, said the shepherd. At last the abbot agreed and the shepherd went to London to meet King John dressed in a simple monk's robe and a cowl over his face. Welcome, Sir Abbot. I hope you are ready to face your fate, said the king. I am ready to answer your majesty, answered the shepherd. Well then, where is the center of the round earth? asked the king. Here, said the shepherd, and your majesty, believe me or not, Go measure it and see. A shrewd and witty answer, replied the king. Now what about my second question? How long will I live? asked the king. Sir, you shall live till the day that you die and not one day longer, said the shepherd. Ha ha, you are witty. What about my third question? What do I think? questioned the king. That is easy, my lord. Your majesty thinks I am the abbot of Canterbury, but I am not. I am only a poor shepherd who has come to ask pardon for the abbot and myself. The king laughed loudly and remarked that the shepherd was truly witty and he should be the abbot. The shepherd said that he had no such ambitions and besides it was not possible as he did not even know how to read or write. The king rewarded the shepherd with gold coins and told him to inform the abbot that he was pardoned.